Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Assassin's Creed 2 and a server emulator which will allow you to do two things. Run the game without purchasing it, like a crack, and run the game without being connected to the internet. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download all the required files. The first one you need, obviously, is Assassin's Creed 2. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to just get you guys a, uh, a torrent from the Pirate Bay. So you're going to want to go to thepiratebay.org check the games box here and search for Assassin's Creed 2 just like that and hit pirate search now what you want to do is filter by cedars so come over here to where it says SE click it once and then you should see this Assassin's Creed 2 multi 9 PC DVD 9 with crack click on that and then click right here where it says download this torrent save it to your desktop or wherever you usually save your uh, files to, open it up in your preferred torrent client, and uh, feel free to start the download. Um, since we're not using the crack in, uh, included with this uh, version of the game, you can just uncheck that box there, and uh, just download ac.nfo and this uh, ISO file. Let that start up downloading. It'll take a while since it's a torrent. Um, I recommend just leaving it overnight. Uh, since this is a torrent file, I really, really, really recommend and uh, actually beg you guys to keep this uh, seeded to a ratio of at least 1.0. The way torrents work is you download a whole bunch of little pieces of the file at a time, and other people are connected to you as well, and you download and upload files at the same time to other people, and you basically download those little pieces. What this ratio is over here is the ratio of download to upload so if you keep if you get that to 1.0 that means you've downloaded the same amount that you've uploaded that means that you've pretty much shared this equally throughout the you know community that's trying to uh, pirate this game basically or play it without a uh, internet connection now I already have it so I'm gonna stop this here if you don't know how to torrent I really suggest you google it before moving any further in this tutorial now you're gonna wanna download the actual uh, server emulator um, and that's going to be located at freelancer.lancersedge.com slash ac2 server emulator 0.44.zip. All these links are going to be in the video description along with um, a text tutorial. So don't worry about remembering them right now. You can always go back and check the video description. Uh, now you want to get the latest values file. These are located at uh, ac2clearing.whotookspaz.org. And you want to download the uh, recommended values right here, so it's the, the latest trusted values without any conflicting values. So you just want to click that and uh, save that to your desktop as well, or wherever you've been saving these files to. Um, once you've got all those, you can just uh, close out all of your uh, internet browser stuff. And uh, we're going to get to the installing now. Um, if you haven't worked with an ISO file before uh, for Assassin's Creed 2, an ISO file is basically like a copy of the entire disk. Um, what you want to do is you want to either burn that to a disk or mount it using a program like Alcohol 120% or Daemon Tools. Um, these programs basically create a fake disk drive on your computer. You can see here, uh, Disk K, it's a virtual drive, and I've got Assassin's Creed 2 mounted on it and it shows up in my computer just like my other two real DVD drives. Um, so basically once you've got that going, you just want to install Assassin's Creed 2 like you normally would, open it up, open the auto run if you need to, and install. When you open this for the first time, play is going to be grayed out and this is going to say install instead of uninstall. I've already got it installed, so it says uninstall. Um, so once you have that installed, that's key, get Assassin's Creed 2 installed however you want, Google it if you need extra help on that. Um, and you're going to, once you've got it installed, you want to run it like you normally would. For example, if you actually owned the game. You're going to want to run it, and you're going to want to let it update to version 1.01. .01. Once you've done that, it's probably also going to update um, the Ubisoft Game Launcher. Uh, let that go as well. You just want to get all the updates out of the way. Now, um, we're going to go back to this file we downloaded earlier, ac2 server emulator um, 0.44.zip, and we're going to want to open that up. It's an archive file, it's a zip archive, so if you've got WinRAR or some other archiving program, it'll probably open in that. If not, it'll just open in uh, Windows Explorer, like so. 
And uh, what you want to do is double click this readme file, readme.txt, and read it. Actually read it. I'm not going to read it for you. You're going to read it because there's some key things in here. Uh, specifically, this section right here about the hosts file. I'm going to show you how to do this bit because it's a little confusing for uh, people who haven't actually played with their hosts file before. So what you want to do is you want to take this section here that I've got highlighted. So all these numbers plus the website addresses beside them. You want to take those, copy them. Control-C, right-click, copy, edit, copy, whatever you want to do. Now, go to Computer, Local Disk C, uh, Windows, System32, Drivers, etc. That's etc. ETC. It's abbreviated. And there you go. There's your host's file. You want to right-click on that and go to Open. And you're going to want to scroll down until you see WordPad. Uh, if WordPad isn't located here, you want to go to Browse, and then go to Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files, Windows NT, Accessories, WordPad, and then hit Open. However, I already have it. So I'm just going to click OK and open it up. Now, here's your host's file in plain text in WordPad. So what you want to do, when you first see it, you're probably going to see something similar to this. It's just going to be this little explanation bit at the top. And you're going to want to paste in those files that you copied earlier. Um, I've got some additional stuff in here, so just ignore that. But if you look, these are the same as the ones uh, we copied and pasted. For example, I've got them selected right now, and I, watch, paste, exactly the same thing that we copied. So you're going to want to save that, control save, or press the little save button, whatever you do. And then cancel that out. Um, and then go to start, select run, and then type cmd, and then type ipconfig slash flush dns. Make sure you've got a space in between ipconfig and the slash. Hit enter, and you'll get a little message saying that you have successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Yay! Um, you can just close that out now. Um, now what you want to do is take all the files from AC2 Server Emulator 0.44.zip, uh, take them all, hit copy, and then go to Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files. If you're on 64-bit, it's going to be Program Files x86. Um, so C, Program Files, Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed 2, and you're going to create a new folder called Emulator. Um, if you look, I already have a folder called Emulator. <gasps> Gasp! Um, so you're going to go in there, and you're going to paste all those files from the uh, zip file that you downloaded. Um, I've already got them all, so obviously it's going to ask me if I want to replace blah blah blah. No. Um, anyway, paste them into that Emulator folder. Now, uh, the next bit you want to do is... Uh, you can close the uh, zip file now if you want. The next bit you want to do is go to the uh, Ubisoft Game Launcher folder in the Emulator folder that you just made. Go into there, select everything, copy it, go back, and then back again, and then back again, so that you're in C program files Ubisoft. And then you're going to go into this Ubisoft Game Launcher folder, right-click, and paste. As I've said multiple times already, I've already done this, so I'm just going to cancel it, but you want to just let it paste all those files in there. Once it's done, back, and then Assassin's Creed 2, Emulator. So now we're in uh, C program files, Ubisoft Assassin's Creed 2 emulator again. And you're going to want to take that values.db file that you downloaded earlier and cut it and paste it into this, uh, into this folder here. Uh, once you've done that, you should be good to go now. You're going to want to uh, open up server.exe here. If you're on Vista or 7, you want to right-click it and go run as administrator. And uh, if you want, you can create a shortcut to this on your desktop or wherever, so it's easier to get to. And uh, once you have this running, you're just going to start Assassin's Creed 2 like you normally would, and uh, basically it's going to let you play the game now. Um, the emulator server uh, program is going to 
allow you to play the game without being connected to the internet or uh, having to actually purchase the game. So from this point, you're just going to click, click play now and uh, go on ahead. Every day I see my every day I see my dream. Every day I see my dream. Every day I see my dream. Every day I see my every day I see my dream. Every day I see my dream. Every day I see my dream.